Let's continue with part three of this video series. Let's say that this is the, the log that we are uh, looking in here, this one, and we are interested in extracting the number of bytes. Okay, so let's actually grab this and paste it. Uh, you already are seeing the solution, but let's actually, let's pretend that we are going to, you haven't seen it and we want to do that together. So again, we, we want to look for bytes. So, well, we, we start typing what is it that we are looking and there we are, right? And at this point, you you most likely want to put backslash s as before you can put one or more in case that there are more or let's say that if there's only more than one you you don't care but then you remove that you, you don't want it to match then you remove that 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 question mark and in here well because that is what you want to capture you put the parentheses and you can do this uh, multiple way let's actually do it the the longest way for so we know that these are digits so they will be 0 to 9, right? A set of digits. And notice that this only captures the first one. Well, you can say, well, they are uh, 3, or let's say that there are exactly 3 of those, right? So if remember the curly braces that we did on part 1 of this video series, and that's going to give us those 3, right? Well, what happens if there are more than three? Let's say that the number of bytes is actually larger. Well, you can uh, specify the n, the, leave it just like that, right? And it will match this, or let's actually test this out. If we put, you know, more digits in here, it will still work, okay? Well, that's that, that, that good, and we are learning uh, in the process of doing this. And notice the number of uh, step, 10 step. Well, we can actually make this easier by saying, well, I know that what comes after these are just digits. So remember that there's a meta character for digits, and they are one or more. Okay? You can also use the asterisk in here. Say, if, if, if the number of bytes will be, well, it has to be zero. So there has to be, you cannot use the asterisk here because uh, it has to be at least one character. And then uh, that actually works and you see the, the, the comparison on the number of steps. Let's actually do one more. So in this second example, what we want to do is uh, we're going to grab uh, these two things as different capture groups. And let's say that we're interested in grabbing the second capture group. So in, in QReader and the DSM or the custom property will be dollar two for the second capture group. So let's grab those both. Uh, so let's put, uh, you're, you're actually I'm cheating a bit because I'll, I'm letting you see this, uh, but we're going to be building it uh, ourselves. Well, if you know that in your log you always are going to find these, and after that is what you want to grab here on the second capture group, well, what you can do is that you can actually go here and just paste that there. If you want to use that for some reason, you can put it as a capture group or not. It's really up to you. And then you know that there is a space that follows. And then I want to grab everything that comes here until the end. Well, there are multiple options. Uh, one is would be to say, well, I want, it's going to be a capture group because that I definitely won. You can say any character, right? But it has to be at least one or more. So you do just like that and boom, you, you have to grab your your uh, capture group in there. Uh, the solution, I think it is different from what I've seen, whoever did this, uh, they, they put this capture, this uh, regular expression, let's actually grab it. Notice that this is even more greedy, it gets any, any character, one or more, and then the repetitions uh, zero or more there. I, I, I wouldn't do it like that, but that works as well. Let's actually paste that in here. And you see that we have a capture group one, the first part, because it's between parentheses, and then capture group two. Uh, it puts a tab there. I would rather put a space in there. Also, one thing that, that I didn't mention in the previous example is that you don't have to put backslash s, which is the, I would say, the 
best and right way to doing it. If I were to put a space per se, uh, that that still work, but it's safer just to specify the the uh, backslash s, and then if there's one or more characters and one or more white characters, and you want them to work, you will specify the the plus sign there.